Hey guys, it's Monday, it's July 26th, and what we got on the docket today is more back squats, all right? And so, like last week, we have got higher reps, but unlike last week, we're only going to 12 and not 15. It'll be the same tempo, three seconds down, uh, just go ahead and explode up, and we'll do that every three minutes across 12 minutes, all right? And so our goal is to make our fourth and final set just a little bit more than um, what we did last week. And so the squats, again, will be at this tempo. All right. And we'll go down, two, three, stand up. Down, two, three, stand up. Down, two, three, stand up. And you guys will do that for 12 reps. Ref the remainder of the three minutes, and then every time three minutes comes up, you guys just start your 12 reps. So ideally, we want you to have somewhere between 90 seconds to two minutes of rest in between rounds and efforts. All right, guys, go get it. All right, guys, and so for our conditioning piece for Monday, it'll be a 21-15-9. It'll be hang power snatches and total bar. And once you get done with the ninth total bar, it'll be 9-15-21 hang cleans and pull-ups, all right? So again, 21, 15, nine, hang snatches total bar, nine, 15, 21, hang power cleans and pull-ups. And so the hang snatches will look like this. You guys will pick the bar up from the ground, establish the hang, and then we wanna fold over to the knee, catch above the head. And we got 21 of those. And then we'll come back to our rig and we'll do some total bar. Go 21 of those, 15 of each, and then nine of each. And once we complete our ninth total bar, we'll pick up the barbell. Again, establish the hang. We wanna go nine hang power cleans. Catch it here. nine of those and then nine pull-ups fifteen of each fifteen pull-ups twenty one twenty one you're done there will be a cap on this it'll be a sixteen minute cap all right guys go get it all right guys, our finisher for Monday's workout. It'll be two rounds of max D-ball or sandbag hold, all right? So essentially you guys just pick up an odd object and you will stand there as long as you can. Choose a weight that 30 seconds becomes challenging and once it becomes challenging, hold on for dear life. And don't stop because it hurts, stop because you physically can't hold on to the ball again, all right? And so, with this, it'll probably be in your best interest to set it up on a box or a bench. Um, I didn't have the foresight to do that, so I'll have to get it from the floor, which is actually a great time to talk about the, the skill of getting something odd up off the ground. And so what I like to do is I like to get one hand underneath it and shift the weight to that side. So now I get the other hand underneath it. I start in this squat and I wanna drive up through my legs and I wanna pop it to my knees from here. I want to get in position, this nice strong claps where the weight's above my belly button, and then I just simply stand up, and then I just hold it, all right? So legs stay straight, torso stay straight, and we stay this for as long as we possibly can. Again, 30 seconds should be a challenge, as once we get to 30 seconds, we just kind of hold. The back of your body should light up, hamstrings, glutes, low back. Um, and just because you guys feel a sensation that doesn't equate pain, right? We're just working in ways we never worked before. So the longer I hold it, the more my voice shifts and change, that means the harder I'm working, all right? So again, once we get done with that, whew, right? We take as much time as needed, somewhere between two to three minutes to recover, and then we do that for one more effort. Guys, have fun with this. Let's see who can hold it the longest. 